Breaking news, Nigerians, the Northern Senators, have issued strong warning to President Tinibu against military intervention in Niger. Well, guys, this is not the first time we are seeing warning or these Northern leaders have been issuing warning to President Tinibu over his plans on military intervention in Niger Republic. Recently, they've been sending series of messages to the president, warning him to disembark from using military intervention in resolving the crisis in Niger. I mean, why would Tinibu resort to using military intervention? Even after he was warned, uh -uh, they want Tinibu now to stay clear, to, you know, stay clear. Any matter that concerns the Niger Republic, he shouldn't allow himself to be used as a puppet by other world leaders just to make himself worthy or to prove himself that, yes, he is indeed a legitimate president. <laughs> well, my country people, you see, this military juntas, they came and took over power forcefully after staging a coup d'etat where they held uh, Mohamed Bazoum, the elected president of Niger, and then they had to, you know, imprison him. But then so many world leaders, the ECOWAS leaders, they've gathered, they've held a series of meetings on how to deal with the issue facing Niger. They said, okay, they should try a diplomatic method by sending delegates to go over to Niger and um, have some discussions. And then few of the ECOWAS delegation had arrived in uh, Niger, but uh, the meeting didn't, didn't go as planned. In fact, the peace talk hit, um, hit the rock. It really collapsed because um, this cool leader didn't give this delegation members a listening ear at all at all. In fact, he wasn't ready to listen to any peace talk whatsoever. He wasn't ready to hand over power. But then my country people, other world leaders have said, in fact, they've even given an ultimatum to the Niger military juntas to hand over power. You know, they should free the president from their hostage. They should release him. And then we know that uh, Mohammed Bazoum, was held captive by these coup plotters with his family and his officials, you know, in the capital, in the country's capital. But then, my country people, ever since then, our president, Tinibu, never rests for this matter. The man never rests. Tinibu never feed drink water, drop cup, because so many world leaders are kind of, they are looking on to him. Oh, since um, Niger shares boundary with Nigeria, Tinibu ought to do something about this. I mean, he, he had to do something. Being an ECOWAS chairman, Tinibu has a lot of responsibilities. And then the Northern Senators in the 10th National Assembly have cautioned President Bola Tinibu against using military intervention in resolving the crisis in Niger. Senator Suleiman Somali, Somala, the spokesperson for the Northern Senators Forum, disclosed this in a statement on Friday. The group of senators urged the president to adopt political and diplomatic means to restore democratic gov government in Niger. And according to the NSF, military intervention in Niger would affect Sokoto, to the effect, Kastina, Zamfarawa, Jigawa, Yobe, Boronu, and most of the northern states. And uh, 
The emphasis, however, should be on political and diplomatic means to restore the democratic government in Niger Republic. We also take exception to the use of uh, military force until other avenues, as mentioned above, are exhausted, as the consequences would be casualties among the innocent citizens who do their daily businesses. Besides, about seven northern states with a border with the Niger Republic would be negatively affected, namely Sokoto, Zamfarawa, Kebi, Kristina, Jigawa, Yobe, and Borunu. It was reported that uh, this military junta's severed democratic ties with Nigeria after the ECOWAS envoy sent to the country to broker peace failed to achieve a result. Last month, this military junta trooped, you know, uh, the Niger's democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, and tension continues to mount in the West African region. Guys, this is a very serious matter. I mean, my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? Make Tinibu leave our military alone. Make him send Asari Dukubo and his private army instead. No bito, they make mouth, they jump up and down like local champion. Asari Dukubo sabi... War don't call, make him go fight. She him na tiny woman. The North will always support the neighboring countries like Niger, Chad, Benin, because the majority of the population that made the northern Nigeria are from the above mentioned countries. So naturally, they will support their people and not Nigeria, where there is a conflict of interest. Not only Nigeria will they see all these kind of things. She will not like Bolad Metinibu. No wala. Nigerians are enjoying good relationship with Niger Republic as well as Nigerians to Nigerians. So we do not continue harming ourselves. Going to war with Niger over the undefined democracy will mean waging war against Buhari's kingsmen. And I hope Ogaz understands the facts. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, we know that um, war comes with a lot of casualties. And people are trying to avoid anything that would lead to a war breakout in this country. We don't need you know, such a thing because people are striving to fight with the eternal war. In fact, Nigerians, we are fighting our own war on a daily basis. Now, Tinibu wants to drag our legs outside. I mean, people have reacted. So now, my country people, the Northern Senators have won Tinibu against military intervention in Niger because it will affect Northern states. So, guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.